hi this is Mercy. thanks for tuning into my channel and hope your weekend and your week is going so well yeah you're welcome hope you enjoyed the last clip yes we finished our series on self work wow it was really awesome i believe it was really awesome i got comments i got people talking to me chatting me up about the topic and all so thank you so much for paying attention thank you for listening and i really 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 happy that it did one or two good to some people out there so today i just want to say i just want to talk about something briefly um before we go into in, a new series um so i believe this period a lot has been going especially when it comes to finances because um, a lot of us have been struggling financially um the period is kind of hard in a way 2020 has come with a lot of challenges trust me I myself can testify to the challenges it has come with and I was talking to someone some days ago and I was like do you know that it's not even just the poor people that having a taste of what this period brought about I believe everybody really ha faced this issue it as they really had to face a lot of challenge this period and um, one thing that always happened when they where there is insecurity in the land is that the comfortable class and and to some extent they are the one that fear the most because actually people will say what do you want to take from the, the poor masses so even for the comfortable class and um, class there were a lot of insecurity there were a lot of things going on it caused a lot of you know mental health issues this period psychological breaks and all that this period so i felt that okay um for me I would tell you that I, I too went through some things during this period in fact to some extent it got to a point that my mind became like I became tense like I, I was just really like what's going on and it was like I, I became scared a bit and normally I'm not someone that that gets scared a lot and <laughs> But this period i became scared and i was really surprised like how did i become scared easily like this because it was really a period where we could not really we can't we couldn't really f um how like say now predict what next was gonna happen with the co break um covid and the um, NSAS protest that that you know people had jacked and all that and all the looting the shootings wow i was like wow <laughs> hope this is not going to turn into war because i'm so not prepared for war none of us are actually yeah but but i want to talk about one or two tips that actually got me through this period really and of course it's a journey that we're still fighting it's a journey we're still keeping to ensure that hopefully by the grace of god we, we, we come as strong stronger than um, how we were before so this period really i i, I had more onto the holy spirit it was like you know that scripture that the holy spirit is your companion i'm sending you the holy spirit to be your helper to be your companion i've never felt like having as in knowing that i really have this companion or this help or this friend like i felt this period you know you couldn't really go out to even see people you couldn't really do much you had to be careful with your movements and everything so you you were kind of like locked into yourself and for me i really found the function of holy spirit as a helper and as a friend um personally um i love to worship a lot and this period um songs did it for me in fact i think there was a song i danced to uh, um my world needs you right now by kick frankly and tasha corpse it was like one of my major songs this period what am i trying to get to so at times when we feel really low or when we get to a point that we, we really don't understand what is going on it could be in terms of business uh, for, maybe we have ventured in a particular business and we can we are not seeing that it's just turning upside down like we can understand again what is going on why why is it not going the way we planned it to you know and also it could be a lot of other things maybe you had plans to travel maybe you had plans maybe academic plans imagine as has been on strike for the past eight months plus and that's like almost a year gone out of people's um, plans about life and a lot of things and that could really cause a lot of trauma to some persons as well especially like people that feel that they are already too old in school and imagine extra year adding to them so a lot has really go on, gone on this year actually but <laughs> i believe that um 
for, for all of us that have survived through this year we will be stronger and the holy spirit for me did it for me he really he really helped me strong i i, I was able to find my soulless in that place that place where i felt lost you know felt scared felt so afraid um, and all that um, and he hasn't felt so physical to me like the way i felt the spirit and we really need to have that with us you know you need to have that i I call, I call him like my support system you need to have that system where you know that there's someone right there with you even in the mist even in the fire even in the chaos and that is what the holy spirit does for us also you can imagine that this period um the I had a lot of friends that got into depression for a lot of reasons and now some of us will laugh about it because they're like I can't believe I was depressed because of this and all that but now um, really it's really good to have one or two people that really help you keep your mind sane you know that are strong for you and not just about you be strong for people um, people also have to be strong for you as well that encourages you that it's not about being a motivational speaker or anything no these words are really important for us to to keep going because life threw a lot of snails it was a lot of arrows that sometimes we do not even know we are in war and it just comes you know the battle just comes we are just in the midst of it or caught up in the whole thing and you're asking yourself how do i survive through this god helps us survive through this that's the truth he is right there with us all we just have to do is believe all we just have to do is have faith all we just have to do is to take the little steps and you know start the process you know um i wrote something on my whatsapp yesterday said well grace is a one-time thing that you receive like receiving grace receiving salvation is a one-time decision but following god is a moment by moment decision because trust me when chaos and life challenges come you start doubting the existence of god you start doubting a lot of things about god you start doubting a lot of things and you're like does he even really exist it happens I'm, I'm telling you the truth even people that are strong in faith they get to that point as well and the truth is that if you have a faith if there was no doubt i don't think there will be because if there was nothing like doubt um you won't really see the importance of faith so those moment by moment things that come that just throw snows at us and all that we really need to be strong we really need to know that god is right there with us irrespective of the particular chaos that our life is going through right now thank you so much i just wanted to encourage i just really need to encourage you hopefully by next week we'll begin our series on mindfulness Mm. oh so excited <laughs> all right don't forget to subscribe to my channel just hit the subscribe button and please do one or two things in the comment section i love you mm. have a wonderful week bye